Hey boys and girls, welcome to Art Recycled with Mrs. Hollemeyer. Today we are going to be doing something that is so fun. We're going to use white model magic clay and markers and a scissors to make donuts. Now, not just any kind of donuts, boys and girls. I want you to create a new donut if possible, one that you would love to eat and use your creativity to make swirls or bacon or cherries or sprinkles or whipped cream or whatever you can think of on your donuts. So for example, this one for me is a lemon donut with blueberry icing with a cherry on top. This one is a blueberry donut with maple frosting with bacon on top. How about a chocolate chip donut with strawberry icing and whipped cream on top with blue sprinkles and a cinnamon donut with grape icing and blueberry whipped cream. Today, boys and girls, I'm going to attempt to try to make some type of Oreo donut. We'll see how it turns out. And this is a lesson that's based on a style of art called trompe loi. Now, if that sounds like a fancy word, it is because it's French and it means trick of the eye. So you wanna make these look so good that you wanna trick somebody into taking a bite. However, if you did take a real bite, I bet it wouldn't taste very good. So we're gonna start with our one ounce package of white Model Magic. Now, again, your Model Magic doesn't have to come in this one ounce package. You could use also white Sculpey clay or Play-Doh or some other things as well. But I'm gonna take my scissors and cut the package this way. And then I'm gonna slide my scissors in and cut the package this way. That leaves it easy for me to just peel open the package and take the clay out. And the clay is kind of in this rectangle shape. You actually want to keep it in that shape. So now the majority of my clay is actually going to go into the body of the donut. You will not need a lot of clay to make what goes on top for the icing and the other things you make. So this is how we're going to divide it up. Take your scissors and locate where the middle is. Now cut. Now look at the other half, or take one half, look at where the middle is, cut in half again. Now you wanna save this little bit for the icing on the top and anything else. You're gonna put that to the side, take this bit and add it to the bigger piece. Now you wanna make a ball out of this. So I'm squishing it with my hands, I can roll it on the table and make a ball. Now this is the body of my donut here. So if you wanna change its color, like I'm gonna to try to make an Oreo donut here. So I actually want my donut dough to be white with black swirls in it. So now the way that you get a nice solid color like this is I colored my clay with a brown marker and then I kept ripping it up and twisting it and eventually you'll get a tan. And so boys and girls, you do have to think about that with your markers. Remember, you're probably picking darker markers. If I put red with the Model Magic clay that's white, you're probably gonna get a pink. If I put brown with the white Model Magic clay, you're gonna get a tan. If I put green with the white model magic clay, I'm gonna get a mint. So think, you're gonna get a lighter color depending on the marker that you pick, right? So I'm gonna use black and I'm going to flatten my clay out here and I'm going to color. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, well, Mrs. Hellmeyer, that doesn't look very good. Just hang on, I'm gonna color the other side too. And now once you have both sides colored, you're gonna fold your clay and you're gonna twist. Now see what's happening? I'm getting a swirled pattern there. Now I'm just gonna keep doing that until I feel like I have enough color in the clay. So I'm going for an Oreo theme with this donut. So I kind of want this black and white marble dough. So I kind of like that little bit of brown and tan in there. I like that, but I'm gonna add a little more black. All right, I think that looks good for my Oreo donut. All right, so now I'm gonna make a ball when you have the color the way you want. And you're gonna need a pencil for this part or you could use maybe one of the tips of your markers, but I'm gonna take my pencil and I am going to flatten this a little bit because now I want it to be, you know, the round shape of my donut. I'm gonna flatten it. And I'm gonna take my pencil and drive my pencil through the center of the donut like this. Or you could, again, do it with a marker or whatever you've got. 
And then I'm gonna take my finger from the back and just poke through a little bit and start twisting the donut around my finger to just kind of smooth out the inside there. You don't wanna make this opening too big. If you make it too big, um, the donut won't be proportional, right? Meaning that middle opening won't be the right size for the outer part of the donut. So there we go. There's my Oreo dough. Ooh, maybe I got some cinnamon swirled in there too with my Oreo. Again, be creative, right? Be imaginative. So now this is gonna make my icing at the top and I want my icing to be a dark brown icing, kind of a fudge type of icing on my marbled swirled donut. So I'm gonna do the same thing now. Now I'm not gonna take all of this cause I may want like a little bit of whipped topping. So I'm gonna rip some off and save it. And you kind of have to think that way a little bit boys and girls when you're making your colors and dividing up. Uh, when you have this little bit here, unless you want all your icing to be one color, you always want to save a little bit, right? If you want to make something like a cherry or bacon or whipped topping or something that you know you're going to change the color of. So I'm going to flatten this out and I'm going to use my dark brown marker. And now you're just going to see me color this again and again and again until this goes to be a pretty solid brown. Now I know some of you are thinking, huh, can we swirl like different colors together? Like not just one color with white, but what if I swirled, you know, blue and orange together? Well, boys and girls, this is why we're doing this with third grade and up. It's because you kind of have to know how your colors work. If you swirl blue and orange together, you will get brown. So, and that's fine if you want brown, but if you don't want brown, then you may not be liking the way the color of your clay turned out. So think how the color wheel works. Remember, opposite colors are going to give you brown. So purple and yellow, blue and orange, red and green, those are all gonna give you brown combinations. All right, I'm starting to like the way that this is looking now. It's got a lot of brown in it. It's kind of turning a darker color there. So now I'm gonna flatten it out and I'm gonna turn it into my icing. And I'm kind of don't want a perfect circle. I'm kind of making like a pancake, but I actually kind of want it wobbly because think of how an icing, how icing would drip onto a donut. It's not gonna drip onto a donut like a perfect circle, right? It's gonna be a little wobbly. So I'm gonna put it on my Oreo marble cake donut there. And then I'm gonna take the pencil and again, I'm gonna poke through the middle, kind of swirl around and then smooth it out with my finger. So now boys and girls, mm, that's starting to look good. So now I'm gonna take, and I want a little bit of whipped cream, like a swirl of whipped cream on the top. So I'm gonna take my white, I'm gonna roll it into a coil actually. And then I'm going to spiral the coil up into a spiral, but so that it's kind of stacking on top of itself. There we go. My big swirl of whipped cream is gonna be over on that side. So boys and girls, I hope that you like this lesson. I hope you like exploring. I can't wait to see your creative ideas. And yeah, they're gonna look so good. You're gonna wanna eat them. See you next time. Bye.